Hello everyone, thank you for checking out the Mesh Editor program. In this video I'd like to discuss the changes that have been made to version 1.6. All of the functionality of Mesh Editor is exactly the same. It has a few new features. The main difference being that the GUI is now a single column rather than the two columns that it was previously and all of the extra features have now been moved to this toolbar. If you click here you can go to the different pages, um, you can add geometry and so forth. Uh, all of the features are exactly the same as the previous one and there is a new page which is the hotkeys. You can now load the default hotkeys or, or change them as you wish and to get back to the main page you just click on edit here and the skin here is completely customizable if you go to the files and go to mesh editor you'll see that there's a skin there that you can upgrade as you like another change that's been made is that if you are working with an object that doesn't have a set of normals or UVs then the program will now add those automatically so that you don't have any problems with that mesh. The program also has been updated to work with meshes that uh, have blend shapes attached and what it does is it will preserve those blend shapes but if you're editing the vertices that are moving in the blend shape the blend shape won't update with the changed vertices. I'd like to thank Aquarius Max for letting me use his demo scene from his Castle Creation Kit. And you'll find all of his great modular kits uh, on the Asset Store, and I'll provide a link in the description below. I hope this has helped get up to speed with the latest version of Mesh Editor. I hope you enjoy the program. Thank you very much. Bye.